Hi, it's Native Robin here today, and I've got a fun garden tip product review slash space saving device for you to see. It's the Burpees Green Bean Tower and Pea Tower. Check it out. Now I replaced my raised bed from a year ago with a 2x12 raised bed that is about 39 inches square measured on the outside. I had a little trouble with flooding in this area and hopefully this will raise it up high enough that that won't be an issue. I'll show you how the burpees uh, system works. When you get it, you got the bottom half that will fold out the center pole in the middle that folds up for easy storage in the winter time, more compact, and it's pretty basic. You have a big piece of uh, conduit you have a large piece of conduit with a couple of holes screwed in. It's six and a half feet tall. It's a one inch conduit. And then the top piece that fits into the top. Now I'm gonna center this up in my garden and get it set up and I'll show you what I did. Okay, setting it up is simple. I went ahead and put the, the conduit through and it has two holes with two cotter pins. You can see those right there and there. And that holds it apart. And once you keep it like that, then you just drive it in the ground that deep. And I'll space it here in the center of my box. And I'll get right back with you. Okay, as you see, I really drove it down to where the bottom wires are sitting in the dirt and really does keep it from moving around. This way, if the wind blows, it'll kind of help protect itself. This wire doesn't need to be very high off the ground at all. The beads will sprout up and find a string and go right up it. Our next step will be to plant a row of green beans all the way around. Okay, I, I went ahead and made a trench all the way around. You got to plant these beans about two inches deep. And I'm going to plant them a, oh, about an inch or two apart. And then once they sprout, I'm going to thin them until they're only three, four inches apart. And then tie the strings up. Okay, now since this is tapered, and goes inside of the hole. I don't want to mushroom it out. So either use a rubber mallet or if you use a metal handle, put a board on there when you drive it in just as a, a little tip. But you go ahead then simply slide that on there like that. Then the top has a little part that sticks out and goes right up there. Now when the beans sprout we'll tie a string from the bottom to the top and show you how that works. Well, I just got home from work and I got to looking at the garden. I think it's a great day to thin out the green beans and get these strings up. So let's continue with our project and I'll show you what I mean. You can see the beans are fairly close together. I plant them every couple inches apart. And we're gonna take out at least every other plant. We only really want them about four or so inches apart. If you look at the supports, it forms a quadrants. If you can kind of figure on anywhere from five to six plants per quarter and that'll be plenty if you leave too many on here it'll be impossible to pick okay so it took a little time i went ahead and put a hat on because out here in the sun it's good i did a cover up but i gotta tell you this job is real high on the no fun o meter uh, i went ahead and wrapped a string i looped it around once and then again, and then tied a knot in it so it wouldn't move around as much, but this is what I ended up with. You can see the top and the bottom there. I tried to space them out even. I tried to space them out even on there. Now, I did run out of the original string, so I probably have it overloaded. This is the first year for this bean pole project. So uh, once the feelers come out on these string beans, they're the Kentucky Wonder, by the way. Good bean, uh, heritage bean. Um, they'll, they'll just go right up the string. Now, I'll go ahead and show what that looks like here in just a little bit, but probably gonna take a couple weeks, so we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, it's been a few weeks, and the green beans have been growing, and they're going up the strings just like they're supposed to, so I thought I'd just do a quick little vid here, follow up, where I show you what it looks like when the green beans go up the strings. See, they get these little climbers that come out of the top and they'll start going right up the strings just like you can see some of them are already going up there. Now when they get to the top, they'll just 
cross over or whatever and go back down. What I like to do is I kind of, when they're small, I'll make sure that they get their own individual string. But other than that, that's all there is to it. So that's your pole bean and pea tower from Burpees. Uh, it's a great way to grow a bunch of beans in a really small area. That box is about three foot square and I got no problem growing the tower. Now there's different ways of securing the pole in the middle. I went ahead and just drove it in the dirt, but there's uh, folks have uh, drove a PVC pipe in the ground and cemented a, a, a galvanized pipe to connect it to. You can play around with all that. But honestly, I didn't want it so much taller than I that I got to really reach out to pick the green beans. So uh, if you want to try it, it's a fun project and it make a bunch of green beans in a small place. So until next time, this is Native Robin saying, happy trails.